Hi. In this video, I will show you how the um, not many version works. First, we connect the charger. Okay. We have the welcome message. We have the countdown. If we keep pressed start, it will pause the countdown, and we, we keep pressed the start button again. Restart and charge, okay. It will continue the connection. Okay, since we used the switch in the low position, we have the low power. That's why it's put in only a 11.1 amps into the bike, okay. Charger is working. And the bike is charging. Okay, now we have the we can play with the buttons. If we go up and down, it will cha change the current. It takes some seconds to upload to uh, 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 um, refresh the display. Sorry. If we operate left and right, we are changing the maximum target uh, state of charge. Right now, it was set to 100% by default but we can change it and we see that the target voltage it's uh, changing accordingly if we select a state of charge uh, lower than the current state of charge the charge will stop it will gradually um, decrease the current until it stops we can we, we can know that the charger finished because the timer will stop and our charger stops Take us a while. Okay. Well, my bike believes it's still charging. It's normal, but if we go to the app, we will see that no current is being fed through the Anderson port. And well, this is the the pro the uh, non-version menu. Of course, we can change the switch, but the switch will be read only at the first start of the charger. For example, I just changed the to maximum value, to maximum power, and we have a reset button here. We press it. We are cutting the the, the DC voltage to the controller. If we release it, it should start again. But now with the high current setup. Sometimes when I reset like this, it fails. In this case, I recommend you to unplug the the. You see, it failed. I'm still working this. If it happens, the best thing to do is to disconnect the charger from the AC and it will work again. Let's see this time. We see that it starts, but it, later it, uh, it stops. I think it's something related to the connection from the charger. If it refuses to charge, I think uh, just the charger must be restarted. And that's it.